Welcome back everyone to Living Survival. My name is Ben and today we're going to take a look at a great camping saw that I've had for a while. It's the Agawa Canyon Boreal 21 and we're going to put it head to head to some other popular saws out there as well as look at some of the pros and cons. So let's get started on the review. So this is the Boreal 21 from Agawa Canyon. It's their 21 inch folding buck saw. Really well made. Dave Canterbury from the Pathfinder School did a side-by-side -side comparison uh, between this saw and the Bob Dustrude saw. And there were some things that he liked a lot better uh, with this saw. One, that it's composite, so uh, there's no wood to swell up or anything like that. Um, really well made. It's got a really well made frame, really well made handle, and it's really comfortable to use. And it also obviously folds down pretty small so you can just click the uh, the one side here and you basically just flip the whole saw around uh, just like that it lays into its own channel here and the handle pops back and you have a nice compact folding saw it weighs about as much as the silky big boy which we have here which is another one of my favorite saws the silky big boy 2000 it's got a little bit longer blade. The uh, Boreal has a little bit longer blade than the Silky Big Boy, but they have their pros and their cons. So really, really good build quality, really fast to deploy. Simply just flip that handle around, flip the saw around, put this little notch in the uh, handle there, and you're ready to go. One big pro of the Boreal 21 is that it'll accept uh, any 21 inch buck saw blade. So if you need a blade in a pinch, you can carry a spare blade. You can pick these up at any, any hardware store. These blades are gonna be more expensive to replace. Now these silky saws are really made for arborists. They're made for pruning trees. They're made for green wood uh, for the most part, but they do work really, really well for uh, camp tasks or for bushcraft tasks. And you can see how nicely this folds down, a little bit smaller than the uh, Boreal 21. And again, I mentioned weight-wise, I believe is about the same, but you're gonna pay to replace these blades. And they do, uh, they do wear out. I have the uh, Silky Sugawaza, which is another really nice blade from, um, from Silky. Again, you got an expensive replacement blade, and I've used this one so much that I can tell it's wearing out. But you're gonna see in the side-by-side -side comparison tests uh, that I did with these, that they're all really fast uh, at cutting. So although these are more for green wood, the advantage to a saw like this, or a saw like the big boy, is that you can get into areas that you can't with the hacksaw. So obviously, not only are you limited to a log the size of the frame here, so you know, you're limited to that size log, which is fine. I'm only using these for, uh, for firewood or you could use them for shelter building. You know, you don't need anything bigger than that size wood, especially if you're not gonna split it down with an ax. So size wise, that doesn't bother me at all. I really like the comfort and the feel of the hacksaw here, but these are gonna allow you to get into those tight spaces. Maybe you have three trees or a few trees and a bunch. One of the limbs is dead or something like that, or you're building a shelter and you're able to use green wood and you wanna get, you know, you have a stand of, of uh, multiple trees uh, that are, you know, multiple poles of trees, you can get in there with this saw, uh, whereas you're not gonna be able to get in there uh, with a traditional buck saw. So certainly some pros and some cons. As I mentioned, I did a side-by-side -side or a head-to-head -head with these three saws, um, and they all are very similar uh, in cutting speed. Comfort-wise, it's really comfortable. It's gonna be a little bit heavier than the others, and obviously it's a little bit larger to pack, 
although you can still shove this down on the side of a uh, hiking pack for example uh, where the water bottle would go you can slip this in the side and then you can use your side compression straps to uh, secure it I've done that a lot and that's also what I do with the uh, Boreal 21 so when you're closed up here I would just take it and just run it on the side or you could even run it on the front of your uh, your pack and it straps in nicely you could even slip it inside your pack now they do make a case for it so that's an option as well um, there's two little C uh, clips here so replacing the blade is really easy you can take your multi-tool uh, or even your knife in a pinch the butt of your knife and pop those off it makes it really easy to change that blade a lot easier than um, some other buck saws that have maybe uh, nuts and bolts that you'd have to mess with a lot more moving parts so as far as a ease of use standpoint it's really easy to use it's all uh, again it's all this um, plastic material so you're not gonna have to worry about any wood wearing out or anything like that now you can when you order these saws you can select the blade that you want they have a green wood blade they have this dry seasoned wood blade which is the one that I run on here and then they have like a hunter's blade which is uh, w which would be for bone so you can get several different blade choices but then again you can pick up any 21 inch uh, buck saw blade and that's gonna work in this saw so for me personally and my camping needs I'd take either one of these saws I've been using this one a lot I just like the form factor of it I like the buck saw feel when I'm sawing through the wood you know you're holding it like this instead of holding it like this uh, although this does have the advantage of being able to get into tighter spots than you can with this saw once you get that log cut and you set it sideways and you're bucking it down I feel like this is the more comfortable option weight is about the same you get a little bit longer blade with the uh, Boreal uh, 21 and you can replace the blades a lot uh, more affordably than you can on this big boy that being said the big boy is a little bit smaller so it's gonna pack down a little bit easier it does fold into itself it's got this nice rubber handle so it is quite comfortable uh, as well and I'd say if you're in the market for a silky you really can't go wrong with this big boy here now you can find these on my friend Nate the Canadian preppers website canadianpreparedness.com you can order these silkies the whole line of silkies he carries there I don't believe he carries the uh, Boreal 21 so there will be a link to Amazon uh, if you guys want to pick one of those up so I hope you guys enjoyed that video today let me know what you think in the comment section below I hope you enjoyed it enough to give it a big thumbs up for me and share it to your friends and family on your social media if you're new here or you haven't already done so please click that red subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of new videos.